Hello, I'm Brent Newberger, Technical Service Rep for Iowa, and I want to talk to you about a little bit about rootworm management. So everybody always looks at the untreated checks to see what kind of pressure. Here, here's uh, some of the plots from this year. You can see some pretty extensive damage. You know, this plant obviously is uh, not going to be able to maximize yield potential. It's probably not going to stand. In fact, if you look at the plot behind me, you can see the amount of goosenecking in this plot. So that's showing the damage that the rootworm larvae are doing to the roots. Most people are always either going to put on an atpine insecticide or a, a BT trait, but what we're starting to see more and more of the BT traits having some issue because of this selection pressure, this heavy pressure. And so here's a situation where we have a plant that we had the atpine insecticide. We still have quite a bit of feed, not as bad as the untreated check, but we still have some pruning and stuff like that that's gonna compromise this plant's ability to stand and absorb water and nutrients. At FMC, we've introduced a new product called Stewart, which is a very good adult beetle management product. And so we're putting on Stewart in that July, August timeframe. It's gonna give us 21 to 28 days of control of the adult rootworm beetles and reducing that egg laying. And so when we reduce the egg laying, we reduce that selection pressure. So then next year, when we put that at plant insecticide to that BT trait, we have a lot cleaner root system that's gonna be able to maximize the uptake of water and nutrients, maximize that yield, as well as withstand any winds and, and any lodging, like what we're seeing in the untreated check. Let's take a look at Stewart Insecticide and get some more specifics on its use and performance. But before we do that, let's look at the corn rootworm life cycle. The larvae is where all the control has been directed in the past, whether it be soil uh, insecticides at planting time or whether it's the BT traits. My contention with this life cycle, if we wanna do a good job management, we can't just concentrate on larvae. We need to look at other portions of the life cycle and adults is a perfect place. And Stewart is now the perfect product to give us that control. Stewart is a group 22 insecticide. So we're bringing a new mode of action into this. Typically we've been using a lot of pyrethroids and OPs. They're contacts, Stewart's an ingestion insecticide. So as that rootworm adult ingests into the indoxicarb, it's gonna then be transferred in his gut and we're gonna get a very toxic metabolite that then gives us the control of that corn rootworm adult. Let's look at some trials in 2018. These were done over in uh, Nebraska, Kansas area, some heavy corn on corn area. You can see in the competitive treatment, we had about four and a half beetles uh, per plant pre-treatment. We made applications of various products that are generally used, the uh, bifenthrin, pyrethroid OP types products. But you can see we dropped the population down, but we didn't have much stain power. We had very little residual. Typically, those contact products are only going to give us five to seven days of control. We look at the Stewart application, again, the eight ounce rate. We had 4.6 beetles per plant pre-treatment. We dropped it down and we kept it down throughout those 21 days. And so that's a big difference that Stewart is going to provide. It's going to provide you a much greater residual based on uh, its performance and its unique capabilities and, and characteristics. So I wanted to take some of that Nebraska data and bring it over to Iowa. So I have a field that I did some trials in, in 2018 where I had some Ethos XB. This is a case where the grower uh, turned the unit off for me. And, and you can see he was coming from the top of the screen to the bottom, leaving me a 24 row untreated check strip, turned around, forgot to turn the unit on, left me a little bit more untreated check strip, but also it gives a very good dramatization of the control. You can see the line where he turned the unit on. We go into the canopy and you can see top part of the screen where we weren't applying any uh, Ethos XB. All of a sudden we turned the unit on and we had some great control. There's what the untreated check strips and the untreated plants look like. Better side by side, untreated on the right, treated to the left. Ethos XB did a very, very good job. So knowing that I had some pretty good pressure in this field in 2019, I said, hey, let's do a Stewart trial. So we did the same thing as what those trials out in Nebraska, went out there and scouted as soon as we got 
females that were grab it. We made the steward application on July 29th. We went out there. We were finding about 3.8 beetles per plant pre-treatment. We applied eight ounces of steward, and we came back seven, 14, 21, and 28 days afterwards. And you can see the length of control and, and the reduction that we had with Stuart. So now what do those numbers really mean? If we look at 3.8 beetles per plant, typically you see half of them are female, half are male. So at 1.9 female beetles times the 30,000 plants, we're seeing about 57,000 rootworm beetles on that acre. If they lay 500 eggs per beetle, that comes up to 28.5 million eggs. However, not all of those eggs are gonna survive. Some don't make it through the winter, uh, they're laid too shallow and dry ground, et cetera. So we're gonna lose quite a bit. So in this case, I'm gonna just use, that we're gonna say that we're gonna lose 80%. So if we have uh, 28.5 million acres and 20% make it through the winter, that means that we got 5.7 million larvae per acre or 190 larvae per plant next year that we're gonna have to control on those same 30,000 acres, which is some tremendous selection pressure that we had had over year after year after year. Now, if we go out there with a steward, you can see we dropped that population down significantly. So I just took the average of those four counts. So we averaged only about 0.4 beetles per plant. So let's do the same math. So half male, half female. So if you got 0.21 female beetles times the 30,000 plants per acre, gives us 6,300 beetles on an acre times the 500 eggs per beetle, 3.15 million eggs. Same winter survivability, comes up to 630,000 larvae or only 21 larvae per plant next year. So obviously less selection pressure if, if our at plant insecticide or our BT traits, you know, we're having less that we have to control, we're going to see lots, much greater control. And so it's really the point that we need to be very holistic in that approach and, and not just looking at controlling the larvae, but looking at the whole life cycle to get us the best level of control. So from FMC, Stuart is, is going to be a very good product to look into that rootworm management program. Uh, we see that eight ounces is giving us 21 days plus uh, of residual. Uh, we're seeing very little negative impacts, very safe product, excellent pre-harvest, REI, et cetera. So again, we, we thank you and, and appreciate your time.